joining us. Years of frustration at their state and families being divided between Pakistan and India welled up amongst Kashmir's earthquake survivors when they were denied access to the new crossing point for aid on the disputed de facto border. Four weeks after the earthquake struck Kashmir, India and Pakistan agreed to an op open a single point at the heavily militarized line of control. After lengthy negotiation, tents, medicine, food were exchanged between the two sides. But when hundreds of youths on the Pakistani side threatened to rush against the border in the Poonch district, they were forced back by Pakistani soldiers who fired shots into the air and sprayed tear gas. Our foreign affairs correspondent, Jonathan Miller, was right there. Here's his report. By an earthquake, nuclear neighbors make historic human contact in a valley divided by a line on a map for nearly 60 years. But that is where the choreography ended. All of this watched by the brigadiers below. Chaos as Kashmiris on the Pakistan side demand to cross the frontier. Many quake victims who want to see their families on the other side. Just after the morning call to prayer had ended, the preparations for the big day started. For decades, this the front line, scene of two wars and countless deadly battles, jihadi insurgents tried to cross this river into India and died. Slowly throughout the morning, journalists edged ever closer to the barbed wire enclosure in the valley floor below and a three-inch wide strip of white plastic laid across the fresh cleared minefield, the line that no one's been allowed to cross since 1947. High above, Indian soldiers manning mortars watched us, doubtless dumbstruck, as journalists from both sides reveled in the moment. <laughs> Indians and Pakistanis embracing, swapping news and numbers, interviewing each other, talking earthquake politics. The happiest day of my life. I would like to go there. I want them to be here with us. I want to see their children. I want to see their schools. I want to see their colleges. Unfortunately, this earthquake, it has given a lot of problems, created a lot of problems for them, for us also. I would like to know from them how much loss they have suffered, anything we can do for them. They are our brothers. Right, uh, gentlemen, please uh, listen to me. Electronic media, uh, we have agreed upon uh, this aspect that uh, this white line Will not be will crossed, not be crossed uh, by please. media people also. Gentlemen, please. Right, so please uh, let's keep our words we'll keep our and words. help us in keeping our words. Keep to your side of the line of control. One foot in India, one foot in Pakistan. This the line of control. It has gone from being one of the most controlled borders in the world to one of the most chaotic. This morning, journalists were mixing across the line. We've just been separated there by the Indian commander. He says we didn't want to start another war. How's it going in India? <laughs> On the Pakistan side, crowds building. Kashmiris desperate to see family, divided by the line, now united by the quake in suffering and bereavement. They're kept well back. Inside the enclosure, they did the handshakes and organized the aid swap. 21 trucks from India carrying tents and rice and medicine unloaded into Pakistani trucks from Pakistan. Outside the enclosure, the onlookers not happy. The Outside the enclosure, the onlookers not happy. The crowd now moving closer, the mood edgy. We want to meet our relatives, and this is not proper way. We are not in position to go there. Uh, we are uh, half a century. We are waiting over a uh, close relative. Uh, this is a, just like a drama, to words uh, to say that uh, Kashmiris are going to here and there. This is only drama. This is a uh, want to say we, we can go there and meet with their relatives. They're chanting, we want independence, we want freedom from Pakistan and India. Sick of war, weary from years of shelling, and now an earthquake. It was then the Pakistani police just lost their nerve. They're firing baton rams into the air to try to clear the crowd here. This is exactly what they didn't want to happen. 
These people have been standing watching this going on all day. They've had enough. They want to be able to go across the border. In India, deep suspicion of Kashmiri separatist sentiment. 1,500 killed across the frontier so far this year, nearly as many as the earthquake killed in 20 years of war. Today, not one Kashmiri civilian crossed the line. It was supposed to be a symbolic day, but these images are a very different sort of symbol for both sides to digest. The symbol of a divided, restive region, politically unready for what humanity demands. Jonathan Miller, Channel 4 News, on the line of control. Hot right off the satellite. That's Channel 4 News. Good evening.